Hello everyone, welcome back. It's TGR, that's Gamey and Robbo. Guys, as you know from last night's live stream, we managed to secure our Champions League place on this beautiful game that we call Championship Manager 0102. Now just quick recap, just before we do crack on guys, as you can see from the list last night, through looking through the fixture, we started um, playing against Leeds United, just after the Leeds game so we started from December and obviously we went all the way through to March now we've near enough done our business for the transfer window obviously the Bosman ruling unfortunately I haven't managed to pick up uh, Raphael van der Vaart which is really really upsetting because he was one of the main players that I wanted in my team for the next season but looking through as you can see you know we're still managing to get uh, obviously, Olzar, which is one player, obviously, that was uh, recommended to me last night. Um, Peter Loving, Loving Kranz, he's obviously going at the end of the season, which is uh, uh, which is what I wanted it to say. Uh, Kieran Dyer, obviously, he's going to be joining us at the start of the new season, as well as Paul Tierney from Manchester United. So we're looking at a few a few good sign-ins, obviously, going to be joining the club. I'm quite happy with that. I'm... Uh, Looking forward to the rest of this uh, stream though guys, I will admit, because last night's stream, it was absolutely amazing. It was so good having everyone interacting with each other and, uh, you know, interacting with me as well. It was uh, it was a pleasure to see, it really, really was. And there's something that I'd, I'd like it to continue once again. So hopefully we can get uh, a really good start in this first game which is the Scottish League Cup final now this is one of many tournaments that we've got we've got lined up obviously we've got this the League Cup final which uh, yeah we haven't won before so this will be the first time for myself to win the Scottish League Cup we're still in the Scottish semi-final uh, for the Scottish Cup as well and uh, of course we're still in the fight for Champions League in the quarterfinals and we're near enough won the league anyway as well with eight games to go obviously I know there's the championship scramble playoff thing that's going to be happening very very soon as well so we know we've got uh, a few tournaments lined up that we could actually win which would be absolutely amazing but first and foremost we've got to try and win the league cup we haven't done it before yet so this cup has always eluded us so we need to be putting our best foot forward and I'm hoping I am really hoping that we can do it in this game here today against Hibs so we've managed to sort our team out here's hoping that we can win the Scottish Cup Scottish League Cup final sorry <clears throat> now don't forget guys obviously you know you're still part of the uh, messaging board so you're more than welcome to message us on the live chat i always reply to each and every one of you and uh let's let's see if we can get oh i didn't even realize collision was that low in this comfort in this um condition but let's see if we can get the first time ever the scottish league cup final let's see if we can actually win it for the first time and frederick risp one nil to rangers just before half time i've got to take Kalushni off. <clears throat> I have to take him off. So 1 0 to Rangers so far. Can we make it 2 0? Can we take this title home for the first time with me managing them? Come on, Rangers. Come on, boys. It's a little bit of a squeaky bum time situation right now. We need to be winning this game. I want to be winning it really comfortably as well. Ten minutes to go. Ooh. Not liking it. I'm not liking it. Kim Karlstrom's coming off. Cherno Samba is coming on. Come on, Rangers. Hold out. Hold out for the first time ever. Will we win the League Cup in Scotland? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. 1-0 to Rangers. We were all over them, but to be honest with you, it felt really, it, it did feel squeaky bum time because, oh, I don't know, I, I just see the fact that we could potentially lose that game.
You don't change the starting lineup for a few games, do you not, Remo? Uh, see, I used to be like that, but I feel like I, I want, I, I feel like I have to do the squad rotation. I really do feel like I have to do it, Remo, because otherwise I just, I never play any of the players. I mean, um, Kennedy back here, Siri Glue is prime suspect of it. You know, I, I hardly ever play him by him at the end of the season. I hardly ever play him and that's and that's a criminal you know by me so I should be playing him all the time but I just can't there's, there's nothing there's no space for him whatsoever to play Craig Moore is coming off now and Clompe is going to start in this game we're, we're at home ah right we're going to change the goalie I'm going to play Otto Fredrickson We'll see how Otto plays. Otto was actually recommended to me a couple of live stream sessions ago. So, you know, I haven't really played him again since. So I want to see how he plays up against Dundee United, who are, you know, like Aberdeen, get in Mike Maxim Saigalko, but like Aberdeen, Dundee United are a bit of a bogey team for me in Scottish football. But not right now, because it's 3-0 up at 26 minutes gone. We are 3-0 up against one of my main bogey teams. And Otto really hasn't had much to do, has he? Passed the ball back to some of the players. That's not really hard to do, is it? Uh, Asan and I is coming off. And Kalstrom's going to play in central midfield. So Eldar and Cherno Samba playing in attacking central midfield. And it's 4-0 to Rangers. Oh my god, the undisputed elite has now made it 5 0. Cherno Samba is in on the act as well. Come on, Rangers. This is absolutely incredible. They're showing, they are really showing how good they are in this game. Can we make it six? Can we make it 6-0? Oh my god, Samba steps up and scores. He takes a penalty away from Maxim Saigalko. Saigalko may not like that at the end of the day because that could have been a hat-trick for him. But nonetheless, 6-0 against Dundee United. 12 points clear with seven games to go. That's absolutely incredible. And Saigalko is on 72 goals. So he's matched his best ever season, which was last season for me. And with two games to spare he's had more assists more man of the match awards passing's gone down tackling's better dribbling's better shot on target's better average rating's better Saigalco is like a fine wine he just gets better and better and better as you play him uh, transfer deadline finishes next week but what a start what a start Ramo, who are these uh, players that you are recommending? What positions are they in? Do you know? Alright, let's see. So I'll keep my uh, old Debski. They all rate him as a player with fairly good potential. Problem is, he just he, he's left for Olympiacos. Debski is a player that everyone rated really, really highly last night in the stream that we did last night. Half a million. Take a, take a pot. Take a gamble. Baha. Simon, you recommended him to me as well last night. Baha. Bloody hell, look at that. 31 games, 22 goals, 17 assists. What what league they're playing in the Portuguese league as well? How much is he valued at seven thousand pounds? Right, we'll we'll put fifty thousand. We'll give Nabel a chance to try and get some money. Binho will have difficulty getting a work permit. What team is he playing in? That's Portuguese league. So we can wait three years, but then he's twenty nine. Wait three years and he'll get a Portuguese uh, passport, but by then it'll be. You'll be getting to you'll be getting on a bit then. Alright, a hundred thousand pounds for Baha Nabel. Or a hundred and ten, sorry. Alright, dude. I oh, will look at them. Um 
Da, 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 da. Yeah, I know. I know about Hunt Last. Sorry, I was I was having a memory blank. I do not know why I could not think of um, Hunter La and and Whitens. But I must admit, Marquinhos. He was probably the one player that did throw me off. Thinking, hang on, who's that? Stupidly enough, obviously, yes, of course they're playing for the PSV team, of course. Oh, look at that. Baha rejects to join Rangers, who are potentially going to be European champions. Not to worry. Oh, no. On hold. So we can't get him to the end of the season now. So, Fredrickson, yeah, he kept a clean sheet. Can't really see much more than that. But we were all over Dundee United, like flies over shit. So, this... You know, this team, Falkirk, they're not really much... They're not really much to worry about. But the fact is, we're playing away from home. Some of you said said last night in the stream that um, you don't like playing away games. You know, I'm exactly the same. Because I feel sometimes the away games, you just get done over by the, by the algorithm on Championship Manager. Which, you know, does happen. Especially with the super goalkeeper. Sometimes you have like 20, 30 shots on goal and you either score one or none. So, you know, so I, I hate playing away from home. But Eldar makes it 1-0 in the 38th minute. We need Maxim Saigalko to get in on the score sheet right now because 72, I want him to hit 100 at the end of the season because he's done it for me a couple of times before. Volkirk equalizes. The away game thing happens again. Kalushni's coming on for Undai. Come on, Rangers. Come on, boys. I mean, Maxim Saigalko, get in on the act for crying out loud. Thank you. 73 goals. He's beaten his best for Rangers so far. 73 goals in one season for Maxim Saigalko is absolutely incredible. But we can't stop there. He needs to be banging in a hell of a lot more goals. We need to be we need to be battering Falkirk to be fair with you. Like we battered Dundee United six 0 in the last game. But oh my days, no! How on earth? Thank you, Saigalko. Seventy four goals in a season. But how on earth are we struggling against Falkirk? Falkirk are nothing on this game. Nothing. Ramo, if I can get Arjen Robben in the team, honestly, that'd be absolutely amazing. I don't think I'd ever be able to get Arjen Robben, unfortunately. But he is he is an absolute legend on the game, and legend in real life as well. But new club record, Maxim Saigalko, 74 goals for Rangers this season is a new record. But look at that, 209 goals in three seasons. He can do a shed load better. He can do. Uh, Scouts watch Costa. What do they say of him? They all agree he's not good enough for Rangers. But I've had so many people say that he's good. Uh, Villarreal's having Roy Mackay. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Oh, here we go. Crunch game. Crunch game time. We're going to be playing away against Bayern Munich. Oh, my days. No way. Arthur Newman and Craig Moore is back in the starting lineup. Kaluzhny is going to start as well. Other than that, other than that, that's the team. That's the team that's going to be facing Bayern Munich away from home here today. I I don't have too, any two striker formation to play with. Sorry, Raymo, what do you mean you don't have any other two striker formation to play with? Come on, Rangers. We're holding out so far. They got Shearer. No! 1 0 to Bayern Munich. Quarter finals, first leg. 1 0 to Bayern Munich. And Arthur Newman's been sent off as well. Oh, God. Right, Alex. Um, no. Bain and die. He can play either footed. He's going to have to go at left back. We're playing and die at left back, which is not a good thing. Even though he can play with either feet, it's 2-0 to Bayern Munich. 
Oh, someone said to me last night they haven't seen me lose on here yet. Well, here's here's the first time you'll be seeing me lose on on uh, this stream. Oh my days! There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. I mean, Frederick Risk probably should have come off, but I mean, for who? Oh my God! We just need to hold out with with, with this two 0 defeat. Unless we can grab a goal back and take this game into Ibrox and hopefully batter them. 3-0. It's all over. I think we're out of the Champions League already in the quarterfinals. The undisputed elite, I think, is dead and buried in the Champions League. It's going to take a miracle, I think, now to actually win the Champions League or to win this quarterfinal second leg, at least anyway. And qualify for the seconds for for the semi finals. Absolutely piss poor. We were the most dominated team. <sighs> Absolutely piss poor. But our attentions have to, to be taken into the Scottish Cup semi final now with us going against Hearts. I am so disappointed in that game. We were absolutely trounced in that game. Trounced. John Welsh is going to be on the subs bench. Kim Kalstrom is going to have a rest in this game. And Selikovic is going to start with Eldar. We've won the uh, Scottish Cup a couple of times. Love to win it for a third time in a row. You know, we've just won the Scottish League Cup, which is amazing. We beat Hibs in the final. If we can do the, do the domestic treble. Oh, my good God, no. See, the away, the away game is ruining us. Once again, we're behind. Oh, no. Jono Samba is chomping at the bits right now to come on. Credit Risk, you'll be having a couple of piss-poor games. You're coming off and John Welsh is coming on. Selikovic is coming off. Cherno Samba is coming on as well. All eyes... Get in, Maxim Saigalko, 75th goal of the season. What formation is that, Raymo? Oh, go home, Ray Hearts. Go away. We need to come back, Rangers. Come on, Rangers, please. All going quiet over at the Rangers' end so far because we are playing absolutely piss poor in this game and we're going to be out of the Scottish Cup. We're gonna we're crashing out of the Scottish Cup, the cup that's been at Ibrox for the past two years, is now not coming back home to Rangers. Is either going to be going to Celtic or Hearts? And after that performance, after that performance, I feel quite dejected by that. <sighs> Against Kilmarnock now. I mean, Kilmarnock are they in the bottom? They can be. And Kilmarnock's got. Andreas Isaacson, which is a goalie I'd love to have as well. Now, Jamie Langfield's conceded far too many goals recently, so Pinero is going to start in this game. Klompe is back, so he's going to be playing. Kalstrom's going to take his attacking central midfield role back as well. Here we go. Hopefully we can get, hopefully we can get the uh, victory over them. So you play a four, three central midfielders. Oh, sorry. So what formation do you play, Ramo? Sorry, mate. Mark Kerr makes it 1-0. Come on, Rangers. Cherno Samba is chomping at the bits once again. Uh, we'll take off Kalushny because I saw he was getting quite tired. Come on, Rangers. It's not looking good. This 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 stream, guys, at the moment, it's not looking good, is it? Because we were absolutely amazing in last night's stream. We were we were walking all over all these other teams and now all of a sudden, you know, we have a big win against Dundee United with six 0 and now we're struggling. We're struggling to convert chances. We're struggling to score goals. I mean, look, we've had six shots on tar on goal. 
absolutely piss poor. You know, five games left for us. We're 15 points clear. We've won the league. Regardless, we have won the league. But it's all about Maxim Saigalko. It's all about him trying to get his uh, 100 goals in this season. Now, the reason why I've tried, I've given him extra signing on fee, I'm trying a different hack to see whether or not if this will work with the um, work permit issues rather than giving him thirty, forty thousand pounds in a week. Uh, we need to face Bayern Munich again. We need to face them. Give you some praise as well, Maxim Saigalko. Looks like we're buying him for two million, but obviously we'll find out at the end of the season if his work permit goes through. Now, we're playing hearts again after that abysmal performance. Risp is not going to be starting. Risp is going to be on subs bench for this game. And I mean, apart from that, apart from that, I mean, we're going to bring we're going to bring Stephen Hughes with us as well. But after that piss poor performance, I'm hoping that we can we can punish them for for that for that last defeat that we had from Hearts for knocking us out of the Scottish Cup. But this is like I said, this is the Championship scramble now, basically. So you you play one half of the top table, the bottom half plays the bottom half of the table in the last five games of the season to basically determine what happens at the end of the season. But Maxim Saigalko starts the score with 1-0. Come on, Rangers. That's his 76th goal of the season. Come on, Rangers, please. Maxim Saigalko get in on the act. Come on, boy. You've only had six shots on goal so far this in this game. Stephen Hughes is looking like he's going to have to come on. And I'm looking at who's going to have to come off. And to be honest with you, it's going to have to be Kim Kallstrom. Kim Kallstrom's doing nothing. Wrong one. There we go, Kim Kallstrom. Come on, Rangers, please, boys, come on. The undisputed elite is not going to get the domestic treble you know we can still get the treble i mean we're still technically not out of the champions league but we're finally crowned champions of the scottish premier division i missed that totally at the end of the game but we're finally champions of the premier division three years in a row for, that's brilliant that is brilliant to see that we've managed to do that but now Time is all focused on the Champions League. Quarter final, second leg. We need to get. Oh no, Arthur Newman's suspended in this game, isn't he? Shh. Oh no, so John Welsh is going to have to play in left back. John Welsh is going to. Okay, so Craig Moore. So my other attacking central midfielder who's gone. So Kim Kallstrom's obviously not able to play. Selikovic is going to start. Langfield is going to go back in goal for this game. I mean, looking at that, I mean... Here's to us hoping and praying that we can, we can beat Bayern Munich. At least 3-0. As soon as Bayern Munich scores one goal, that's it. We're out. Eldar makes it 1-0 in the 18th minute. This is the chance. This is the chance. We've only got to get two more goals, Rangers. We've only got to score two more ruddy goals. Come on. Come on, Rangers. It's only been half an hour so far and Eldar's injured. Shit. Oh, no. Cherno Samba. Cherno Samba's coming on. Come on, Rangers, please. Raymo, have you have you um you uh gonna reply back, mate, about the what formation you play so I can understand what you're uh, what you what sort of formation you were looking at. Oh, 
No, half time, 1 0. They've only had one shot on goal as well. Right, time to change that to go direct. No, can't go attack. That's stupid. Shit or bust now is what I used to say when I used to play football. So either shit or bust in the second half. We go for it. Uh, if we lose, we lose, but at least we lose trying. But if we score a goal, then we've got a really big chance. No, nope, game over. Oh, it's offside. It's offside. Oh, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We've still got a chance now. 20 minutes to go. It doesn't look like it's going to happen for the undisputed elite of Rangers this season with the Champions League. But, no, it's all over. Champions League dream all over. Thanks to Alan Shearer scoring that goal. Absolutely gutted. Gutted, gutted, gutted. We're out of the Champions League. Such a shame. Such a shame. They had so much more possession in the second half now. Uh, AC Milan knocked Liverpool out. Obviously, Bayern Munich knocked us out. Real Madrid knocked Lazio out. And Roma knocked Dortmund out. Eldar's out for the rest of the season, more than likely now. Oh, we win the we win the UEFA Cup last season as well. Such a disappointment. So literally, all we're all we're doing now is playing the rest of our championship champion uh, our championship scramble games. That's such a disappointment. I, I I am literally in disbelief with that. I genuinely thought we were going to be able to get past by Munich. You know, so much talk with the undisputed elite of Rangers. I genuinely thought that we were going to do it. But it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be, which is such a disappointment. Mark Kerr makes it 1-0. It's all about... Obviously trying to push Saikalko as close to 100 goals as possible. But he's on 75 or 76 goals for the season. Craig Moore scores his first goal of the season. <clears throat> so yeah, saikalko has got 76 goals this season. Such a disappointment. I thought we were going to win the Champions League this season. The one thing I was really pushing for. Oh, guys. Oh, come on, guys. Got, we got to pick up the morale because we need. We still need to uh, have a perfect season, perfect end of the season for the championship. You know, and, and plus, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at uh, also getting a nice little tour to go with our friendlies as well with the new signings that we get. You know, try and bed them in, try and figure out what's possibly going to be the best formation for them all to play. Celtic lose to Aberdeen, so we're just going to be absolutely pissing this Premier Division title run. Oh, Fiorentina's going to be looking looking at getting Yakubu. Oh no! But oh, we're going to try. If Yakubu accepts it, brilliant. If he doesn't, he doesn't. You know, I mean, I did want Yakubu to be fair, but at the same time, if uh, if he wants to go to Fiorentina, he can. But our next game, we're going to be facing Celtic, and uh, Stephen Hughes didn't really do much at all. So Chana Samba's going to actually have a start in attacking central midfield. The one player I really want to potentially look at as well is uh, Rossini from Celtic because he bags in so many goals on on Championship Manager but I feel it's going to cost me a lot of money to prize him away now I know we're losing 1-0 thanks to Stylian Petrov's goal but we've already won the title we're going to be looking at a really good summer hopefully we can bring him you know, a, a couple of good players extra on top. Make sure the squad depth is absolutely immense and fresh. And hopefully next season we can try again and try again to win the the Champions League.
but one can only hope on that front. But at the moment, Chono Samba isn't really doing much in attack in central midfield. So Kennedy back here, Siri Glue is going to come on. And Neil Bradley is going to be coming on for Radoslav Kolozhny as well. The undisputed elite is now losing 2-0 against Celtic. I can't believe how many games we've lost in this stream so far. We've had the almost perfect season and we've, we've just been playing piss poor so far. Undisputed Elite, definitely the wrong name for that, that's for sure. Don't forget guys, if you do like this video, please make sure that you do smash a like on the video. And of course, make sure you do subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon too. So you don't miss out on any future videos that will be coming out to the channel as well. As well as any future streamings that we will be doing as well. But 2-0 against Celtic. Oh, oh, that's just absolutely piss poor. I mean, we'll have a look at the fixtures. But I mean, we started off against Hibs. We win that, we win that, we win that. So that's the first loss, second loss, win, win, draw. When that I mean we've lost three games, but it feels like we've lost so much more. It really does feel like we've lost a hell of a lot more games than that. Thomas Heed is available. I was looking at him for basically adding more squad depth to the club, as well as Per Nilsson. But they will be obviously part of the reserves team, potentially loan out, maybe just um Maybe just obviously just to try and build them up in their training regime as well. Uh, if you go to FC Copenhagen, it's not an issue, honestly. Oh, okay, Raymo, so you so you actually play the proper Christmas tree formation, the four three two one. Ah, okay. I see I see the formation that you play, Romo. I mean, I, I must admit, when I first started playing Championship Manager 0102 when it first came out 20 year, 21 years ago, you know, I played that exact formation as well. Uh, I loved the Christmas tree formation. I thought it was amazing. Uh, Undai is going to be coming on for Risp. Oh, oh, that's just absolutely piss poor. We're at home against Aberdeen, so hopefully we get the three points today. And uh, hopefully Maxim Saigalko can get as close to 100 as possible in the <laughs> next two games. That's 23 goals. That's not going to happen. Get in, Saigalko. 1-0 to Rangers. Coming up to half time, I've noticed Saigalko is slowing down in the goals front. Zelikovic makes it 2 0. So we're going to change the two attacking central midfielders with Stephen Hughes and Kennedy back here. Siri Glue coming on. Hopefully, these two can help push Saigalko through with a hell of a lot more goals. I think with the last game, I might just uh, change the team up well and truly. Oh, yeah, throw the last game to uh, some of the some of the players that don't really play. And Dai scores his first goal of the season. Everyone around the team is scoring, and Maxim Saigalko scoring less. You start to see it now. It's coming up to the end of the final whistle. This potentially has probably dented Aberdeen's chance of coming second in the league. Which, you know, to be fair, no, to be fair, they, they were out of the second a long time ago. But we finally ma managed to hit 100 goals in a season. I don't remember what we did last season. I'll have a look now. So the first season we got 105 goals, conceded 28. Second season, 111, conceded 29. Third season, 101, conceded 39. But we still got one game to go. So already we're starting to score less. We're conceding more. But we're still hitting near enough the same amount of points. 
that Per Nilsson will be joining us at the end of the season. That transfer, dude, it is happening. It's um, it it hit the Scottish transfer window. So it has happened, but obviously we're waiting to see whether or not if this new little hack of mine will work with his work permit. Cause it says he is going to struggle to obtain a, a work permit. Look at Partizan for Igor. Okay, AJ, one second. Let me uh, ha let me have a quick look. Club Partizan. Uh, da, 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 da. AJ, is it this one? This Igor? Let if if it is, let me know on the uh, on the comments below, and I will come back to Partizan and see. Right now, our last game of the season, we're going to be against St Johnston, so we'll get our reserves team in as well. We'll go one by one. So uh, Pinero will start the game, and Langfield will end in the subs bench. In defence, okay, so we still got Ronnie Woolwork, which I haven't used to be fair. Cameron, which is my one of my guys who got promoted from the youth team, he's gonna be playing today, so uh what let's say John no, let's say where which left back can I use? Oh Arthur Newman because I think he's gonna be I think he's going to be going at the end of the season. Um, John Welsh. Then we'll go with Ronnie Woolwork. And Cameron with the second sub going to be Strachan. Give him time. I will give him time. Don't worry. I will give him time. Hopefully he will join at the end of the season. So central midfielders, let's see, we will use Neil Bradley, Scally, Farrell. Right, I'll give Farrell a, a new contract because he's looking like he's starting to develop. Um, Mackenzie, what's... And... Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe... Stephen Hughes. All right, I will go back to Partizan after this game, AJ. So don't worry, I will go back to him. I will go back just to have a look. We'll have Captain Marvel on the subs bench as well as uh, Kim Kalstrom because he won't be starting in attacking midfield today. So we'll have Selikovic and Kennedy back here, Siri Glue up front. Up front, okay. So I still want to try and get Saigalco as close as possible for the uh, goals tally. Yeah, I know John Welsh will be a cracking player in a few years. It's a shame that I haven't really played him as much. It's quite, it's quite bad on my part, to be fair. So this is the makeshift team for the last game of the season before we go into the close of season. Hopefully these boys can do well. I mean, I mean they are really good players. Let's be honest. You know they are part of the undisputed elite, but it shows at this moment in time that they are they are struggling. So I'm going to do something which don't really do a hell of a lot is move Saigalco away from away from playing up front. Saigalco can play an attack in central midfield, and Keegan Parker scores his first goal ever. Four Rangers coming on straight away within a few minutes. He takes Saigalco's place up front. And Parker scores again. 2-0 to Rangers. Maxim Saigalco hasn't even assisted him. So Parker's done the work. Linking up with Scally and Neil Bradley. And now it's 3-0. Neil Scally. Fantastic player, mate. Fantastic. Another player that should have, you know, should be playing a hell of a lot more. 
So 104 goals. You know, we've kept a clean sheet with Pinheiro in goal. Maybe he, maybe he's telling me something that I should have, I should have been doing for a long time this season. Maybe I should have been playing him in goal instead. But like you said, AJ, I've got to go back to Partizan. Have a look in the transfers out. Is it this one, AJ? Can you let me know? To be honest with you, Ramo, I haven't actually done, I haven't really touched the training of the team for Rangers in this game, in this stream. So um, I'm not going to lie to you, I haven't really t touched the training side of things, but I have done training videos in on uh, my channel before. But um, obviously it's that typical, you know, it's that total of 50 point score. So you just make sure that you get obviously the, the points up to 50 and then just train the players. I train them in, uh, well, to be honest with you, I try and change some of the players' uh, positions sometimes, but a lot of the, a lot of the times it, it um, doesn't really pan out. Gigs, for, for example, I, use, I try and change Gigs to a central midfielder. He then turns to a striker. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But uh, but yeah, I will. I'll, I'll probably will be looking at training the uh, Rangers team for the next season properly because um, I want I want that Champions League title next season. I need that Champions League title. But uh, AJ was that the right player though? That one I looked at or not? No, he wasn't given a work permit. Try again. Uh, Celtic's got this Christopher Persons. He doesn't look that bad. Doesn't look that bad. I want to go back to Celtic, don't I? Because I want to try and nab that Rossini off them. Six and a half million pounds. Six and three quarter million pounds. But okay, mate, I will go back to partisan let's have a look enough go back to him get a little scout on the go for him yugoslavia do they have bojan jordic here because bojan jordic is another fantastic player which doesn't really get that meant that many mentions as well even warnock signed a new deal for liverpool yeah good player as well European Championships. Um, I don't know. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it at all or not, though, guys. Have any of you seen the um, Legends video I'd done only a few days ago? Let me know in the comments if you have, because if you have, um, something that I was I said at the end of the video, which is something that's sort of triggering my mind now, looking at the Euros, is um, I I was potentially looking at doing a legends video with managing England of course um, obviously going against the 2001 2002 uh, players of course of all around the world and trying to use the 1966 World Cup winning team of England to try and win the World Cup obviously in 2002 what do you guys think of that would would that be something that you'd be interested to see to see whether or not if I can get the 66 of England World Cup winning team to try and win the World Cup in 2002 using the Legends database. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, because I would love to know about that. So we'll see if we can get this guy because a lot of you guys said he was good. Oh, he's, he's collapsed as well because of a work permit. Well, I'll try again at the start of the season. Is that a thumbs up for the uh, 66 World Cup team? Is that AJ? I mean, it doesn't have to be just England, of course. I would, I you know, I can obviously look at the other the other nations as well. Look at try and do it for them. Um, obviously, with you know Brazil or. Or even Germany, it does look at, it does look like it could be an easier task. I must admit. 
You want to see the finished talents. Okay. We'll get through the updating game data, dude. And I will look at the finished talents, Raymo. Is that the finished talents with the um, Legends database or on this database, Raymo? Just to clarify. The board want the title. Yeah, I know. We want the title too. Uh, who's unprotected? Anyone decent unprotected right now? Sadio Reyna, Steve McManaman, uh, Bobich, Stone. There's no one decent really whose contract is unprotected. What about X? No, no one's will be expired just yet. European qualifier. So Celtic and Aberdeen are in the Champions League as well. Raphael van der Vaart, indispensable to the club. We'll give you the full 42,000. 800,000 signing on. And £1.8 million release fee if we do get relegated. But we're not going to get relegated anyway, obviously. Holland beats our oh, Euro 2021 final as part of the semi final of the 2004. And what a shock! 1 1. And Italy beat us on penalties again. And we took an early lead as well. It's almost like it's written in the stars, isn't it, for us? Right, this database, okay, mate. Um, Team JJK is very young, and I think it's something that you must check. Okay, Raymo, I'll have a double check of that. So, JJK. Ah. Maybe because I've only got the Scottish database on for this one, dude, that is not showing any of... Oh. Not showing any of the other, other players, mate. If you know of any other teams from there. Oh my god, Van der Vaart is going to be joining us. Oh, we've got to make way for someone. Ha! Italy lose to Holland in the penalty shootout. So we've signed Rafael Van der Vaart. Oh, there's a few countries that have uh, sacked their boss right now. Let's have a look at the job. So, guys, who do you think I should try and manage any of these teams as well as managing Rangers as part of this streaming? So at the moment, there's only Spain, France and Czech Republic. If any of you guys think I should, leave a comment down below as well. Let me know. Well, I'm not being able to get him. This is, get, this is uh, annoying me at the moment. Try again. We'll try a different way. So PSG is now going to try and buy Sebastian Frey. No, I'm not. I'm not going for Sebastian Frey. If PSG signed him, they signed him. <clears throat> I know the fact that Kilmarnock obviously have got Andreas Isaacson, and I'm going to try and nab him away from Kilmarnock. So, okay, guys, if any of you have uh, joined us on the stream, please make sure you smash a like on the video, subscribe button as well, and hit that bell so you know when the latest video has been uploaded and you don't miss out at all on any of the new videos or stream episodes as well. The one I want 3 million for his accent. We'll go 3 million. We'll go 3 million. So we'll see if uh, we can nab him. Okay, so I'm going to clear the squad's... Uh, no, I'm not. So, who am I not going to be playing? So, you, you're going to be going. The Baptista will be leaving us, so he's going to be withdrawing the number 27 shirt. Kennedy, I'm going to have to get rid of Kennedy. I think we've got way too many, way too many players at the moment. To try and worry about making sure he gets time as well. 
But Paul Tierney's going to have the number 27 shirt. Who's got number 18? Neil Bradley. Who's got number 16? And Dai. And Dai will give number 16 to Raphael van der Vaart. And he can have 36 shirt. Yakubi's going to have 37. I know I've got, I didn't even give a number to Kieran Dyer, did I? Inter, right, okay, Raymond, one sec. So, Inter Turku, Turku is my hometown. IFC, Inter play three different level in Finland. There is Nyman, Ari, I don't think he is in your game. Okay, let's have a look, dude. I'll have a look. Club, Inter Turku. I just check the players out so no players have left so would help I pick the right player so Magnus Barn uh, Juni Altuten Altunen Husey Hall Nika Walden the opponent he looks pretty good for, for this team Samuel Lindelof Miko Nermi. Sorry, dude, one sec. So, what is your training adjustments to have norm physics of the start of the season, especially if you are playing Intertoto or World Club Championships? What do you mean by that? Sorry, mate. Kennedy, oh, it's going to be so sad to see you go, Kennedy, but. Oh, balls. His accent's not going to join us. All right. Okay. Someone said this to me last night. Unfortunately, Chiotas might have to be the option. He's cheap as well. Ramo, seriously, is Lindelof your brother's friend, is he? That's, a, that's absolutely crazy. Chiotas, first team player. And I think if we sign Jotas, then Langfield will be leaving. Sectas will be... Oh, Rosenborg. No, I don't want installments. So Chiotas has officially joined Rangers. Smash a like on the video for the fact that we've managed to sign Chiotas for Rangers. Hopefully this undisputed elite team can now be really in force for the new season. Uh, let's see, I'm going to... Zlatan Ibrahimovic is going as well. May not be a popular decision, guys, but... I hardly played him. Four games he came off of the subs bench. Kennedy's going in the sub in the reserves as well, because he'll be leaving soon. How far did uh, Lindelof go, dude? Do? do you know? I've not heard of this other one. Oh, PSG's just given up on Frey as well. How typical is that? Let's have a look. I've not come across him before, dude. I will not lie to you. I've not come across him. Uh, Rosenborg. Oh, they've accepted that. They've accepted that. Get in. Yeah, I thought I thought he would go to Besiktas. So we get three eight three point eight million pounds for Kennedy Bacchus Iriglu. Look, they're they're paying stupid money now. I don't know I don't know if this person's on this database because I've not loaded up. No, I was looking at Justin Walker because obviously I know he's a really good central midfielder. Oh crap, I forgot to do the ruddy tour, didn't I? How stupid is that? Well, it looks like we're going to be playing the first game of the season already. Right, so we'll have a look at the starter lineup. So, Chiotas, uh, left back, left back, Hugo Valdia, Mike Duff, Clompe, and Risp. So now midfield, we've got a lot of midfielders now, which we've got to our advantage. 
So Raphael van der Vaart. I think Barry Bergson, our Captain Marvel, will be starting alongside... Oh, now I've got Kieran Dyer and Mark Kerr. Mark Kerr will start. Kieran Dyer will be on the subs bench for the first game. And we will start with Kalstrom and, and Eldar with Saigalko on the subs bench. So Welsh, Yakubu, Dyer, and Cherno Samba. So now I need to see who has the best influence in the team. Mental influence. Van der Vaart. So Van der Vaart comes in to a new team of Rangers and he's going to be captaining them straight away. So what's that, Raymo? Lindelof played till 30 years old, you think? He was in a car accident with, with your brother. Oh, no. Your brother was driving. Third guy almost died. And, oh, God, I'm so sorry to hear that, Raymo. I hope, I, you know, I hope all, all three guys were okay. You know, obviously at the end of it. Um, I didn't give Chiotis number one or whatever, did I? So here comes the new undisputed elite team. Costanzo. Costanzo, which uh, which Costanzo are you on about there, Raymo? Can you let us know, mate? The new undisputed elite. Chiotis, Duff, Valdir, Clompe, Risp, Van der Vaart, Kerr, Ferguson, Kalstrom, Eldar... And the man himself, Maxim Saigalka, who makes it 1-0 already at the start of the new season. Ah, oh, come on, Rangers. This is only hearts. But Kieran Dyer will come on. Take him on take him off for Mike Mike Duff. Hopefully, uh, you know, that won't backfire on me. I need to see what's going to be the best place for Kieran Dyer. Good. I'm glad they're, they're all all right. I'm glad they're all all right, Raymo. I'm glad the fact that they're all still friends as well. And, oh, my God, I didn't even see the fact that Hearts had equalised. Get in, Captain Marvel. Well, he's not the captain any, anymore, is he? He's, it's Raphael van der Vaart. But Barry Ferguson makes it 2-1. We've got a late win in this game. Sao Paulo's goalie. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, obviously, he's left. Oh, I can't see him there, dude. Can't see him there, mate. He must not have loaded up on this Scottish database. So Sebastian Frey's joining Arsenal. No, your English isn't bad at all, Raymo. Don't apologise. No need to apologise, my friend. Livingston wants to buy Jamie Langfield. What division are you in? You're in Premiership Division. Yeah, it's fine. You can go to them. Oh, we got them. we've managed to get him with the work permit hack now. So obviously if you guys haven't seen the work permit hack video obviously give it a look give it a look on the uh, on the channel um it's worked once again because I was struggling to try and get him through and it's worked once again Langfield's going to be joining Dundee United he used to play for the arch rivals Dundee right so Kim Kalstrom's going to have a rest we will start Kieran Dyer in central midfield. Mark Kerr will be on the subs bench. Barry Bergson will have a rest. Kaluzhny will start as well. No, well, yeah, we'll give him number 13. That's not an issue. So I've taken the advice off last night's stream to sign this gentleman right here. Apparently he is an assist king. So we shall see if he's as good as what everyone has been saying to me. 
But uh, at the moment, it's been 20 minutes, still nil-nil. Maxim Saigalko has had his first shot on target, which uh, isn't that good. Van der Vaart scores on his first, his first goal of the season, and Falkirk equalises straight away. Get in, Frederick Risp. Half time. Right, okay. Maybe Yakubu. Has he got. Yeah, so he's got a work permit agreement thing as well. So Yakubu will come on. We'll give Risp a rest. Marco will come on for Kaluzhny. Saigalko, 3 1. I will have a look at Parnaby, Ramo, and uh, we'll have another look at Costanzo, but I don't think he is on the game. But Falkirk makes it 3 2. Oh, God, come on, Rangers. We're leaking goals again. Oh, Hugo's injured. John Welsh will have to come on. So what have we changed in the second half? So we brought on Yakubu and Mark Kerr. And Klompe makes it 4-2. The Rangers. Oh my god. I can't believe that we're still leaking goals in. Yeah, we got a good win. Don't get me wrong. But... I thought signing Chiotis, it might help us, but... No, it doesn't look like it's helped us at all. I've been looking at this guy for some time, Kim Yong Kim. I need to have another. I need to have another scout on him because I can't remember exactly what they said about him. It was some time ago. Fifteen-year-old Graham Johnston. Oh look, and they've signed him up on a new deal straight away, so I can't even get him now. Oh, you did say Parnaby. I forgot to look at him. Parnaby. No, he's not on this database, mate. Which is a shame. No, I don't play with a defensive midfielder, mate. I, I play with three in the middle. I play with three in the middle, multi-bridge dodge. But welcome, though, mate. I, uh, you know, how long have you been playing uh, Championship Manager for, mate? Aberdeen, okay, so no left back. So John Welsh, start a left back. And die. And die will start over Resp. Um, da -da 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 -da. Kaluzhny will have a rest. Barry Bergson's back in the starting lineup. How did he fare in his debut? Didn't really do much. So Kim Kalstrom will be on the subs bench. Hi Sparkles, how are you mate? You okay? Come on Rangers. Need a good start to the game boys, come on. Okay, so my new my new Player Sun Tij, he's not showing me much at the moment. Oh my God, Kim Kalstrom's gonna have to come on. We can't keep this up like this. This uh, this season's starting off a, a bit of a struggle. Twenty years, mate. Yeah, exactly like me. Exactly like me, I've been playing this game for 20 years as well since it very first came out. I'm, I remembered when my old man actually bought me this game. It was an incredible day. Good, Sparkles. I'm glad you're okay, mate. Are you uh, a fan of the Championship Manager game as well? Get in. 2-0 now. Get in. Kim Kalstrom shows him how it's done. El oh, he's offside. Yeah, we've got, we've got a good team. I'm building them up slowly. I'm building them up slowly. I'm also trying to look at getting um, feedback from everyone else as well. Multi-bridge, you know, what they, what players they've come across uh, works for them in the past as well. 
So if you have any other suggestions, dude, you know, I'm more than welcome to take in what suggestions you have. Have a look at them because, uh, you know, that's the whole beauty of our championship community, isn't it? You know, we all, doesn't matter where we come from, what our religion is, what our race is, what, you know, what our deal is. At the end of the day, we all, we all have, you know, a, a great understanding of this game. I don't even remember signing this guy. Well, obviously I did, but don't buy lads anywhere. Once my friends with Juventus were sent off Serie A to Serie B because all players were unhappy with Calads. Yeah, money well spent. Yeah, thanks for that, dude. Check you checked it out, Sparkles, for a month or two. What what uh, what team were you managing on Championship Manager, Sparkles? Uh, no multi bridge. This is uh, game settings. Yes, it's the point sixty sixty um, database, dude. Yes, you are right. Stenhouse Stenelsmuir or Livingston in the third round of the League Cup. Okay, so give you a rest. We'll start with Stephen Hughes. Kieran Dyer can have a rest. Mark Kerr will have his time back in starting lineup. Tried to buy him a few times from Milan. Kalads is a very conflict player in the dressing room, is he? I must admit, I've uh, I've bought him once before, but I think I didn't really didn't really play him as much as I should have done, which is uh, really bad of me. But no, I've not had much of uh, an issue with that in the past, but. It's, Duly noted, though, mate. Swansea City Sparkles. Okay, what what players did you manage to sign for your team, dude? You know, what uh, what sort of uh, history have you got with the game so far over the past couple of months? Cy Galco makes it 1-0 in the 40th minute. It's his fourth goal in four games. But look, he's hit over 200 goals already in the first three seasons. Like I said, we're I'm hoping that I can push him to hit the record, which... Everyone's everyone knows of that. Obviously, he scored twenty two hundred goals in his career. That one person managed to do. So I'd love to try and get him beyond that. But at this moment in time, with Dundee equalising, it's not happening, is it? What position do I need, multi bridge? At this moment in time, dude, I I need I need some I need something. Don't I, mate, to be honest with you, because this team is just leaking goals. And we're... Oh, I thought we were lost to Dundee United then. You signed Van der Sar. He's a good goalie, mate. He is a very good goalkeeper on the game. Oh, can't believe we drew one all with Dundee United. That's absolute piss poor. Yes, Saigalco is on the rise. Look and see who we've got in our Champions League group. I really want to know. Took a long time to what to sign him, dude. Ah, here we go. Champions League group: AC Milan, Porto, and Real Madrid in my group. Okay, I'll put him on the subs bench, dude. I will uh, take your advice on that. Let's look at the other groups. So you've got Barcelona, Benfica, Juventus and Shakhtar. Barcelona, Juventus all day long. Dortmund, Galatasaray, Leeds and Roma. Or Leeds and Roma or Dortmund and Roma. They'll be going through. Yes, yeah, Sparkles. By all means, I can give you tips. Not a problem. I mean... First major tip which every single person would uh, say to you, dude, is sign Maxim Saigalko. This guy right here. He's the best person that you need to start off with because he will bag you so many goals. is unreal. Cherno Samba, he's another fantastic player on this game. I mean, you look at the starting lineup, like most people will say to you that, you know, there's a lot of world-class players in this team. You know, looking through the, those players right there, that team, you know, it it will help you tremendously. 
to uh, to to get major major league trophies, depending on what countries that you prefer to play in, of course. But my Champions League group, I do not like it one bit. Okay, so we're gonna give Barry Bergson a rest. Kalushni's coming back into the starting lineup. Duff is gonna have a rest, and Dyer will start. Hugo is back from injury, so we'll get him to start. And and Dai will rest with Risp coming back into the starting lineup. And Selikovic is going to start in attack in central midfield. So guys, we're going to make this the last game as part of our stream. So thank you very much, obviously, for joining with us on this game. Mark Kerr makes it 1-0 already. Absolutely brilliant. Do I want to collaborate soon? Um, in what fashion, mate? What do you want to collaborate on, dude? Collusion makes it 2 0. Don't you just notice that? Just shows you I obviously need specs now. Come on, Psygalco. So, Kilmarnock's got a really top goalkeeper as well, guys. If you haven't seen it before, Andreas is Axon. Obviously, he's the main goalkeeper for Kilmarnock in this season. So, Cherno Samba is going to be coming on at half time. For Selikovic, and I think I'm going to give Collusion a rest with Kim Kalstrom coming on. Roblox, I haven't played Roblox for some time, dude. I must admit, uh, I I own I I rarely go on Roblox now, unless uh, my two young girls want to play Roblox. That's probably the only times I actually play on it now. To be fair. But uh, but by all means, I don't mind going on Roblox again one day soon, mate. Not an issue whatsoever. They're coming up to full, nearly full time. Maxim Saigalko's ten for his game, but goalless for him, which is real supply, real surprise. Yeah, final whistle. We got the three points. We've we. We we had a hell of a lot of chances in this game, but uh, I, th I think, to be fair, Maxim Saigalko is obviously a bit tired, so we need to give him a little bit of a, reju a rejuvenation. But guys, honestly, thank you very much for uh, for joining on joining us on this game. Uh, what game on it, Sparkles? Um, I usually do, like, um, oh, I can't remember what those types of games are called now. It's just like silly little challenges. I know I've done, um, what do you call it, uh, Squid Games on Roblox before. That was quite that was quite a fun thing to do. But guys, honestly, thank you very much for joining us today. It has been an absolute pleasure speaking with each and every one of you once again. We're going to do another live stream tomorrow night, guys. So please make sure you come back on the channel at 8 o'clock tomorrow night, exactly the same time as we did last night. But don't forget, guys, smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Hit that bell as well so you don't miss out on any new videos that are uploaded or any streaming that we'll do in the future. Raymo, make sure you let me know about Stringer um, tomorrow night when we do the live stream again, dude, all right? But apart from that, guys, thanks for your time. Look forward to seeing each and every one of you tomorrow night, guys, on this channel here at TGR. That's Gaming Robbo.